Hey, what's up viewer? Uh, if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. If this is your first time on the Balancing Act Chronicles, welcome. Uh, hopefully you enjoy these videos and take a look at the other stuff that we have on the channel. If you're here, it's probably because you searched YouTube for Movo VXR10. And right now, we're gonna do a quick and dirty review and even an audio test so you guys can hear what it sounds like right now. So welcome to this product review. And again, this is gonna be your more common man product review, I'll say. I'm not all into all the details. Instead, you're like me, right? You wanna, you probably searched about this. You wanna know for the price, is it worth it? So um, we'll do a quick down and dirty review of it. I'll show you what it looks like with the box. It won't be a true unboxing as it's actually on the camera right now. So this box has a few items in it. But I'll take that camera, uh, the microphone off the camera here shortly so you can hear what it sounds like uh, without the audio from the mic from the microphone and with the audio from the microphone. So first and foremost, if you don't know what this Movo uh, VXR10 is, it's what you call a shotgun mic. So it's actually placed on top of a camera. So if you're into capturing videos, the shotgun mic goes on top of the camera and it creates a really good sound. And what shotgun mics are, are microphones that actually collect audio within a certain space. So right now, even though I'm a little bit further away from the camera, that microphone is getting a really clear audio from what I'm saying. So if you're into videography, if you have a DSLR or a mirrorless camera, typically if you're recording video, you're gonna wanna have a shotgun mic. And I did some research when I started looking at for which one I wanted to buy, and I saw that there was varying prices and skills. And this one popped up and I thought it would be really interesting to check out a couple reviews of it. And I'm gonna put those in the description because they're very technical. A few of the folks who have done more technical reviews on this were very influential in my choice to buy it. But as I said, it's gonna be a quick and dirty review. So I'm gonna go ahead and now take the, the microphone off the camera. I'm gonna show you what it comes with and what's in the box. All right guys, and we're back. So now I've disconnected the microphone as you see here from the camera. I've actually switched over to a lapel microphone that I've also done a review on as you'll see a card for it coming up right now but this is what that lapel mic looks like. I'll bring it back over here. So as I said I did a review for that one as well so you can compare the differences and so this is the Movo XVR10 box. It comes in a regular box and as you can see it's kind of light because I've taken some of the stuff out already but this is the shotgun microphone itself. It comes with a connection cable, which one end goes into the camera, one end goes into the microphone. This piece here is the part where you mount it. So you would click this on here, you mount that microphone on, and again, this is the part where you'll connect it directly into the shotgun mic, the uh, auxiliary adapter you'll put this end into the camera and this little fuzzy thing that you see right here well this is um, intended to keep the sound effects of wind out of your microphone so this since most people who are using shotgun microphones typically are using them for either recording of an event or vlogging now right as most of us are doing and when you do some vlogging outside, you typically get that wind. You don't want to really hear that whooshy sound in your microphone. So you just put cover this over the microphone right there. And this piece, as you see it here, is the microphone as it sits over the camera. Um, so I'll go ahead and open up the box so you can see the rest of the items that it comes with. Um, so that actually doesn't belong there. That's really different. So I'll get that out of here. Uh, it does come with a bag, so a nice little Movo bag here that you can kind of keep the microphone and that this furry friend here that it comes with uh, in it. Now here's one of the things that I really do like about it. This cable here is also for use with a mobile device. So if you are into any sort of mobile cinef cinematography or if you do capture a lot of videos on your phone, but you seem to not get the best audio, you can get this Movo. It comes with the cable, um, additional cable for your phone. And as you can see, I'm gonna try to show you here. Um, it's a little bit hard to see, but this side says that one goes into the microphone and then 
you'll see right there, it tells you this side goes into your mobile device. So pretty straightforward, it tells you which end goes into and actually on the other side it even says it. It's microphone and then on this side it says uh, smartphone. So again, you plug this in and now you're getting pretty good audio on a mobile recorded video. So. One of the benefits of this is the duality that you definitely get to use it on both uh, DSLR, or mirrorless camera, on uh, Canon, Nikon, whatever um, camera device you have. You can also use it on your smartphone too, so it has that dual aspect to it. Now, the reason why I chose this microphone, as I said, was some of the reviews that I saw about it were really helpful. So before I talk about what was it that made me choose this option, I think you probably want to hear how it sounds. So right now, as I said, I have the lapel microphone on, which is amplifying the audio. What I'm going to do is give you two different sounds. First one will be me talking directly into the microphone that comes with this Canon camera. And if you're curious, this is the SL2 or the, well, the Canon SL2 or the EOS 200D, depending on where you are in the world is what you call it. Um, so you'll hear the microphone first as it sounds without the shotgun microphone, this mobile attached to it, and then with it so you can hear the difference. Let's get to that now. So this is the Canon microphone without any connections. There's no lapel as you can see. Shotgun mic is not on the top. In terms of distance, it's a full arms, actually it's more than an arms distance away. So I would say it's about three and a half feet away. So this is what the audio sounds like without that shotgun microphone attached. Now, the microphone is attached again, so the Movo VXR10 is now on the camera. Again, same distance, as you can see, it's a little bit over three feet away, probably about three and a half feet away. And this is what the audio sounds like. As you can see, it's a pretty good mic, especially for the price. And that was one of the biggest reasons why you, myself, if you're searching for this, you probably searched for it because you saw the price and thought it was worth it. You wanted to know if that truly was the case. I've looked at a lot of different microphones, and as you guys know, if you're into the Shotgun Microphones Rhodes, which is the most familiar name out there in terms of providers of shotgun microphones or boom microphones, they're pretty expensive. So if this is your first time getting into cinematography or, or videography or even vlogging, what you'll find is these things start to add up, right? You're getting a camera, the lenses, tripod, stands, all of that. And then you look at a microphone and you go, whoa, another $100 to $125 for a microphone. It all starts adding up. So when I saw that this mic was available for under $50, I believe it's actually under $40. And I'll put a link below in the description in case you want to see it on Amazon. Uh, but for under $40, the quality is great. And with the two pieces that, one, block out the sound of the wind, which is really helpful when you're on the move or outdoors in recording, and secondly, that connection to your mobile device. So even if you just want to take this off your, your DSLR or mirrorless camera, and you just want to take it on the fly with you on your mobile device, that's an added benefit, right? You always have your mobile device in your pocket or, uh, or purse or clutch or whatever you carry your mobile device in. And to know that when you're on the move, you can get pretty crisp audio using this microphone, pretty awesome. So again, I highly recommend this if you're getting started, you're on a budget, you want to spend less than $50 on a really decent microphone, this Mobo VXR10 is the way to go. So I hope you enjoyed this product review and found it helpful. Again, it's not all about the techie details of what it's made up of, so it's quick and dirty for the common man and woman uh, who just wants to know, is it worth the spend? And I definitely do recommend it. I think it's worth the $40 or so that you'll spend for it and it has versatility in terms of what kind of devices you can use it on. Thanks for watching and click subscribe right there. If you wanna be notified, click that little bell underneath this video so you'll be notified when product reviews like these or others come up, as well as some of the other content that we have on the channel. So, thanks again, salute.